What's going on summoners? Welcome to another episode of Pro Guides' Best Champions to Main, now on patch 1220. The champions we pick for this series are strong picks with high performance but have low, low ban rates and are unlikely to be nerfed anytime soon. They are reliable picks for climbing and are worth investing your time in. We also have a series that covers the most broken contested picks in each role, so be sure you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss out when we post those as well. We'll be starting things off in the top lane with Wukong. After a bit of a revamp earlier this season, Wukong became one of the most broken champions in all three topside roles. He was just way too powerful, being able to smash anyone early game while also having his insane teamfight power. After nerfs to both him and the items and runes he used, he fell off a bit. But recently, he's been doing better as other top meta picks have seen nerfs, and now with him getting a bit of a buff on this patch, we think he'll be a super reliable pick again. Since that buff is aimed at his ultimate, he'll be especially more impactful in mid to late game teamfights. So with that in mind, if you're playing specifically for the 5v5s, you could alter your build a bit, going for Gore Drinker as your mythic and taking conditioning and unflinching for your secondary runes. Before we go any further, I just want to give a huge shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our meta videos and guides like this are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players and they're available 24-7 just waiting to share everything they know with you. So stop grinding your face into the wall alone and head over to ProGuides.com for some professional help now. The next top laner we have for you is Nico. Nico Top is a pretty flexible pick. You can go AP if it works better for your team comp, but the AD on hit build we have is way better for being a super oppressive lane bully that goes on to split to win all game long. We typically encourage playstyles that help you carry on your own, so that's why we lean more towards that one. As with any ranged top laner, you want to poke at your foes as much as possible, but Nico is one of the very best at doing this. Instead of having to land big combos or committing to long trades, you just have to step in and out around your third auto. Plus, you have the safety of her W's active and her root to keep you safe from your opponent's attempts at trading back. The last top laner we have is Zac. Technically a tank, he works more like a juggernaut with an emphasis on winning extended fights with his high damage over time and the sustain from his passive. As with most tanks nowadays, if you want a more offensive build, pick up Demonic Embrace as your second item for a big spike to carry harder in the mid game. This is particularly good when you're against other beefy tanks or juggernauts. Taking a look now at the jungle, our first pick is Evelyn. She spent a lot of this patch as a below average pick, especially post her ability update, since that patch was particularly aimed at lowering how broken assassins were. But in the past couple of months, she's picked up quite a bit in performance. That, along with the buffs she's getting this patch, means she's definitely worth picking up if you're into her playstyle. Early on, she's pretty lackluster, but once you get a couple of items, you're able to make picks left, right, and center, keeping the enemy permanently on the back foot. Our second pick is Fiddlesticks. Honestly, I'm surprised he has a low enough presence to still make this list. He's been consistently one of the most broken champions in the jungle, all while taking probably the lowest effort of any champ in any role. Yes, even easier than Seraphine or Janna. AFK farm, ult when it's up, repeat. If you make it to mid game without being down an insurmountable amount of gold, the game is most likely going in your favor. And that's barely an exaggeration. Our final jungler for today is Shivana. Despite the changes from last patch, the AP Bruiser tank build is still alive and well. In fact, it's doing just about as good as before. But what the change did accomplish was giving damage builds a higher ceiling for carry. It's a bit more high risk, high reward. But if you're gonna be maining something, shouldn't you want to master the build with better carry potential? Now for the mid lane, we'll start out with Fizz. Last patch's buff gave him the push he needed to make the S tier, but despite doing so well, he's still pretty uncontested. He does well in a lot of the meta matchups, and in the tougher hard counter lanes, you can always get back into the game with well-timed drones. Our second mid laner is Pantheon. He's been pretty much entirely unaffected by the Eclipse nerf last patch. The thing is, Pantheon didn't rely on that mythic spike to come online. He stomps lane right from the start, and usually has a huge lead before even hitting one item. Rounding out our mid lane options is Heimerdinger. He's one of the worst cases of a champion having an insane performance rate, but being completely ignored by both Riot and the player base. 
we consider him OP tier in the mid, bot carry, and support positions, as well as S tier in the top lane. Yet despite all of that, you can go dozens and dozens of games without ever seeing him. But that low play rate makes him a really good champion to main. Not only is he uncontested, but his playstyle is unique and foes that aren't used to him will be lost on how to deal with you. Like I said, it's crazy to see how underpicked such an OP champion like Heimerdinger can be. Meanwhile, the majority of the most popular picks have negative win rates. Silas, Yasuo, Syndra, Akali, the list goes on. People love to pick the cool champions, even if it means losing. And that brings us to today's question of the day. How do you decide what champions you're going to play? For me, I care about climbing way too much to play champions that are coin flippy like that. But that's just me, and we want to hear from you. So let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Now without further ado, let's get back into the video. Moving things down to the bottom lane, the first pick we have is Twitch. He's not quite as broken as he was earlier this season, since more lane bullies have crept up into the meta. But he's still a more than viable pick. It is worth noting that the build we have is the standard one for AD Twitch, but that AP is a very strong alternative, especially after its recent buffs. You trade out a bit of sustained DPS when you do it, but what you gain is the ability to build Crown for safety, as well as getting a huge boost to your W slow. Be sure to pay attention to the enemy comp so you know which build will be the best for teamfighting later on. The second bot laner we have is Ash. Having utility is always a good thing. You can be neutral or even behind at the end of laning phase and still have way more of an impact than your bot lane counterpart as long as you're landing your ultimate consistently. But that's just a worst case scenario. Ash is a really powerful laner with her strong poke and post 6 all-in power, meaning you should be able to win the majority of your matchups. Also, her ability to carry on her own is pretty high, with her having DPS that can rival a hyper carries at 3 plus items, as well as having a built-in slow that cripples would-be divers if you're good at orb walking. Our final pick for bot lane is Ziggs. He's a really strong contender for most OP champion in the role for this patch. A simple 10 damage buff to his Q doesn't sound like much but that quickly adds up when you realize just how much you spam it for both wave clear and poke. And that with swapping to Scorch over Gathering Storm, and you have a mage that can shove any opponent under their turret and harass them while they struggle to pick up CS. Now, to round things out with our supports, the leading pick is Janna. I honestly don't remember the last time Janna was not in the OP or S tiers. Literally, I think she's been there for at least the last two seasons. The thing is, Janna is just always so good because her kit is inherently broken. You could tune her healing and shielding way down, but her ability to completely shut down engages and even fully reset fights will always keep her strong in the right hands. Yes, I am saying there is such a thing as a good Janna. She may have a super low skill floor, but when you get really good at her, you can do some impressive things. Our second support is Renata Glask. She's definitely one of Riot's most successful launches in the past few years. She came out strong, but not so insanely overbearing that they had to nerf her over and over like we've seen with other fresh releases. Right now, she's a strong S-tier option that comes with a bit of a learning curve, so she isn't just another go-to elo inflating enchanter. Once you get over that curve though, she feels great to play, with some of the best game-changing opportunities in her diverse kit. We always preach about how OP Zyra is as a mage support, and while it is true that she's the best in that category, it's time to share the spotlight with a pick that isn't that far behind. So, we'll be finishing off with Zerath. Honestly, in some aspects, he actually has her beat. His poke reaches further and hits harder. The trade-off is that he's entirely skill shot reliant, and he lacks the disengage and all-in strength that Zyra has. Basically, he's a bit less consistent, but when you're on point, he can be a lot more oppressive. And that is it for our top 3 champions to main on patch 1220. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our meta guides and so you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. Remember to let us know how you decide the champions you play down in the comment section below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below, where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.